Hello everybody, welcome back, it's me, Justy. I decided to go ahead and review some more Dollar Tree things that I found at the store about a day ago. Um, this time it's not technology, so that's different. We have with us right now a sink mat. I don't know if it's Matthew or Mateus, but... It is indeed a sink mat. It's a 12.3 inches by 9.65 inches kind of sink mat as well. Um, to be honest, I don't even really know why you would get this. I don't even know why I got it, but it was $1.25. So how could I pass up on it? Um, I guess you just put this in your sink and then, I don't know, your like cup stays on top of the, the sink I, I don't know like maybe <laughs> maybe if I put it in uh, I'll see the difference or something like that um, I also bought a colander a plastic one I don't know the dimensions on this because the sticker got removed but it's pretty big and I think I'll show the difference between that uh, which is my old my now old colander and this one so let's go ahead and test out the sink mat first all right we're back at the sink uh, i decided to go ahead and do a little crazy bit of a test and we have us a glass jar here so what i'm gonna do okay don't freak out it is sitting in the sink now, wow, that is so freaking revolutionary. I don't, man, that, that is so crazy, bro. Oh my gosh. Are you guys seeing this? I don't know if I'm capturing this, but it looks like it is sitting so good right now <laughs> since that may have not been a fair test i now have a utensil okay who knows what would happen if oh i don't know oh oh no it's like hanging over the little drain here uh oh let's see what happens if i put it in the sink mat All right, here we go. Oh, whoa, it stopped it. Wow, that's so crazy, man. I guess it kind of like, if I'm like, eh, fuck it. It like kind of stops it, but again, I, <laughs> I, I'm not even sure why I bought this. It's like, you know, feel free to comment in the description below, but like, is there a purpose other than just, like, it not clinging against the metal of your sink. I think that's the purpose of it. Is to stop it from clinging to, like, the metal. Other than that, I don't... Like, it's... If you dropped a ring, it's going through the hole. Like, <laughs> what's this for? You know? What would go down into the drain pipe? You know? Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and test out the colanders. Okay, so I've decided to fill up this um, measuring cup with at least one cup of water. I'm gonna throw this pin inside of it. Oh no, I gotta get my pin out and make sure it's all nice and not wet anymore. Let me go ahead and just pick this up and uh... Oh wow, would you look at that? Whoa. Now, I am actually noticing something. Uh... I don't know if, yeah, you guys can see that, right? Like, you see the reflection right there? That does look like some actual water uh, retaining itself inside of the colander and above, like, actual holes. So I don't know how it's even doing that. It's like a, I guess, surface area kind of thing going on. Um... I give it a little jiggle it again there's some like parts of it that are still like I don't know, it's like got water in it or something 
but all right that was that I don't know um I'm gonna fill up another glass of water all right that's about a glass now we're gonna try the big white one out which you know already kind of just fits over my sink a lot better whereas this one kind of sat in the thing in the uh, drain but let's go ahead and give this a try oh no my my favorite pin has been dropped into water let me go ahead and drain that uh, I'm looking around to see if there's any like areas where it's sticking Oh, it, it's like there's like a little bit of a surface area tension between the bottom holes. They're like not big enough in order to make the water fully pass through or something. I don't know. Just kind of seems the same. Although I will say this feels a lot more sturdy. I guess the big difference might be like, um, I don't know. I guess, I guess like if you're in a trailer, maybe you would want this one. It already has like hold, like you would prop it up somewhere. Whereas this one is like, oh, I'm at home and I need to drain my spaghetti. Don't mind if I do. I don't know. Anyways, um, I don't know. The sink mat just kind of makes me wonder, like, what's the purpose of it in the first place? Like, it looks cool, right? It's like, whoa, uh, what the heck is this all about? But, you know, now that I've bought it and now I'm home, it's like, why, why did I buy this? Does it stop, like, my dishes from touching the drain? Like, the drain's not dirty, and if you don't clean your sink, then... I kind of question who you are as a person. Clean your freaking sink, you know? Um, colanders, like, this one fits my head, as you can see. But this one is like a little too tight. I guess this is more like a perfect fit. So, I don't know. They're, they're both pretty much the same. This one just has like, it has Betty Crocker on it. So don't let the freaking label of something trick you because this unlabeled one is big. It's, it's good. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I guess those were some types of a review. I think the sink mat is literally just to not have your dishes cling against the metal of the sink. And I think the white colander is pretty good because it's a lot bigger. And so when I dump my spaghetti, my pot full of spaghetti into the sink or into the colander, uh, when I do it with the red one, it's nearly full, right? And if I want to kind of, you know, shake it around, guess what? You only have like the rim of the fucking plastic, right? Whereas with this, it literally, it literally has two handles so I can grab it and shakety shake it to shake it up. So I'm just saying, I think the white one's a lot better. Um, that's just my opinion. That's just what I'm saying. Anyways. Uh, I hope everyone had a good time watching this review. Hopefully you may have found some of these items intriguing. Maybe you'll see them some other time. By the way, that, the blue one that has the rice in it, I really, it, I really enjoy that container. So that and the, uh, those ones up there, the Tupperware, maybe I'll have to review those in the future, but, um, yeah. Thank you for watching my video. I hope everyone had a good time. Make sure to go check out the other Dollar Tree reviews I've done. Uh, I love you. Toodaloo and bye bye.